Those of you know me uh, from my harmonica, my Mississippi saxophone videos, and now I'm uh, doing a few saxophone videos. I uh, hope I can help some, some of you play some blues out there. So, uh, yesterday we went over a whole bunch of scales and stuff, and today we're going to get down right into playing some dirty blues now. Uh, I'll be playing a blues in major, let's say we're in A major, an A major, here's a your A. So then uh, there's a lot, lot of chromaticism, it's chromaticism. So, but so like I go, so they get to the four chord, and maybe I go, they need to get to the five chord. Very common, those kind of things. I might go, they they get to the four chord. You hear you hear that in all kind of blues sa uh, sa uh, uh, saxophone vocals that they they follow the band uh, and when they they all hit that four chord together. And back to the one. Like very often the flat of fifth to, 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 to create this tension between the uh, chord the uh, chord changes. A good example would be first of all first of all I'll, I'll show you a lick. Um, a very very common blues lick using all different kinds of blues, even the uh, Chicago blues or jazz blues or whatever. It's a very common lick, and it goes like like this. A C C sharp E F sharp So if you see that and then E and then E and then F sharp I hope you can see that and then A now practice doing that lick, just that, that that lick, and practice it in different ways, and try a little different rhythms and stuff, and maybe change it around a little bit to, 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 to suit you. But these notes are great. This combination of notes is great. On it. When I say riff, I mean you just take take just that lick and do little small phrases with different parts of that lick. Just riff around with that lick. That's just A, C, C sharp. So no exaggeration. That just just that I lick. Then you're gonna say, okay, now I'm I'm, I'm about ready to go to the second change. <laughs> so <laughs> it's about time he's finally gonna change chords. It's amazing, you know. So um, he's going to so your 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 A. And that means you're gonna to go to your D. Your D, right? So uh, uh, do you do, do a chromaticism? <laughs> Now that's one way that they, they, they create tension, but a more dramatic way that I, I would probably use, I, I'd probably go, let's see. And then here comes that four chord, I'd go. And that, that, uh, that's the flat of fifth, down to that four. And then I could outline the four. And then back to what? So what I'm doing there, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm playing by my riff. I use the, use the flat of fifth down to the four, and I go up and out of. Then I play a turn around. Now here's a common blues turn around. It's gonna go. Okay, you're 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 on your A. Then you're gonna go G. That's right. F E 
and then D, D sharp, E. And then to create some tension to get back to the one, I might go E, E, G, E, G, G sharp, A. So, just, just to make some uh, tension instead of just going back, you know, it's, it, it's, instead of just going. It's tension. So, I, I got my lip. So when I went to the five chord, I went. So I did D, D sharp, E. And then E, E, uh, G, E, E, G. Back down to the flat of fifth, the D sharp. Outline the chord. And then back, back uh, and then back to one. Now here's another two turn around that, that that works very good. It's uh C sharp, D, C sharp, and then F, U, and then D, uh, D sharp, E, and then so. C sharp, D, D sharp, E, and then F, Tension down, down to the four. Back to uh, the one. Five five again. How simple the blues is. Uh, you have like a, a, a nice, uh, pretty riff with a major, uh, with a major third, and maybe a, uh, maybe you have a sixth, you know, uh, a major third and a, and, 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 and a sixth. These are pretty notes, and you use those for pretty notes, and then you get down dirty in between them. And use that like like the, the devil's tone. That's the flat of fifth or the raised fourth, whatever you want you, you want to call it. Uh, diminished, uh, you know, uh, fifth, whatever, whatever, uh, augmented fourth, whatever you want to call it. It's the devil's tone. Sound like the devil. <laughs> it sounds wicked. It sounds like somebody put their hurt on it. It's. So that, that, that's that's the idea. It's to use. Uh, uh, a tone like, like that, and the, the other tones that are good are, are, are the minor third and the the, uh, the flat of seventh and the major seventh. One of those uh, those people like to o o overlook when they're when they're when they're playing like like a blues song. It's like no no no, that's one of the best ones. That's that's a tension note. So very important notes there. The uh, uh, the five of third, uh, the five of fifth, uh, the 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 five of seventh, and the major seventh. 
And uh, oxy, you know, it's all very chromatic, you know, so it's, uh, it's just to practice it. And uh, whatever sounds good works. Thank you for uh, listening. Uh, drop by my website, bluesWalker.com. My record is out now, Root Walking. I'm playing tenor saxophone out, but mostly I'm playing the Mississippi saxophone or the blues harp. You can also get my record at uh, City, City Hall City Hall Records out of San Rafael, California. And uh, remember, keep on playing them blues and keep on.